Hey, I'm JR, and welcome to What Is It About You. Today I'm in Sarasota, Florida, visiting the Pinecraft community full of Amish and Mennonite people. Uh, most of them are here on vacation for days, weeks, months. Uh, many of them come down here from Pennsylvania, Ohio, Indiana, uh, and it seems to me like they come here for the beautiful weather, the relaxation, the fellowship, to hang out and enjoy each other's company, play shuffleboard, play bocce ball, and, uh, and just do the thing. The reason I come up here is for fellowship. Meet friends and make friends and friends. I don't much anymore. I'm a carpenter and a painter and I used to do a lot of maintenance work. Do you mind if I video? No. Okay, thank you. No. What's your name? Perry Troyer. And do you live here or do you visit? Six here? months. Six months? Here in six months in Ohio. Is it mainly the weather that brings you down here? Yes. Yeah. And my wife's health. Is it okay that I film you with my camera? I don't care. Kaylin. Kaylin? What do you like to do? Um, like sports. Well, yeah, what do you play? Uh, I like volleyball and basketball yeah, you know the gospel, you're not softball. and disc golf. You I play like disc golf? I like it. I am a huge, I just played disc golf. That's what I just finished doing and then I came here. Where do you play disc golf? Um, well, I played at Payne Park. Payne Park, I played there yesterday. And then at one that has 18 holes, I think. Awesome, keep the disc golf stuff up, man. That is, that's my favorite thing to do. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, thank you for talking to me. Yeah, you too. Pardon me, are you Wayne? I am. Hi, I just talked to your son on camera. Okay. And I, I wouldn't want to put it on YouTube without having your, his parents' permission. And so, do I have that? He was a very nice gentleman. He told me he likes to play sports and disc golf. And That'd be okay. That'd be fine? That'd be fine. Great. Thank you, sir. A, I need a shirt like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> are you part of this community or are you visiting? I'm visiting out of town from Ohio. Yeah. This is our family here. Cool. My uh, two brothers, this is my dad. Do you live here? Yeah. In the wintertime, we do. Yeah. Uh, is it vacation when you're down here or do you work when you're A little bit of both. We fly back and forth. We do work up there. And, uh, so, yeah. The first year I came out of the world. Tonight? Mennonite. Mennonite? Yeah. Without anyone I'm an Anabaptist background. Me and my wife all I can't help it. I'm here to find children. out whatever you got to say. <laughs> John 14.6. Uh, you probably, you probably have that. What, what is about you? Yeah, YouTube. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We have a YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeah. Have you heard of my YouTube channel? I haven't. But Paul hey, tells us in Romans I'd like, I like to check it out. Please do. Yeah. If you yeah. follow obedience, to it's to eternal life. Sin and literally everybody. Yeah. Gerald Miller. Thank you for talking to me. I'll probably put you on my YouTube channel. Okay, and I've got a YouTube channel, Gerald and Becky Miller. Gerald? Gerald and Becky Miller. And Becky Miller. Yeah. Got it. What am I going to find on there? You're going to find us taking a trip to Israel, to Jerusalem, to the city in Jerusalem, Switzerland, and just, I was an Amish. And about 25 years ago, we left and went to the Mennonites and became a Christian. So those are things I'm going to be talking about on our YouTube. But uh, yeah, just check it out. What do you think about what's going on in Israel right now? I don't like that. I was there this summer. And we spent uh, several weeks there touring that town. And now it's just upside down. I feel so sorry for those people going through that. But I know exactly how it looks and how it was there. And I was so excited to be in Jerusalem in the city of David, in the city of God. And I think everybody should go there, but maybe not right now. Yeah, no, now's, not, not right now's now. the time to avoid that. Hey, thank you. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Have a bit. You, bet. you too. I was a little surprised to find a guy and his wife and another person with him in Pinecraft Park, totally preaching against the Amish way of life, um, the Anabaptist way of life uh, and uh, he's doing so in the name of Jesus but he sounds incredibly judgmental and he is most definitely disrupting the the peace and quiet the the tranquility of Pinecraft Park <laughs> Go 
those who are not born of God. If you were born of God, you would love the words coming out of the preacher's mouth that's biblical. Let's test this. Open your Bible. What one thing have I said is not biblical? Play and shuffleboard. They were redeeming the time, seeking the kingdom of God. I was born and raised in Anabaptist ways. I know the history of the Anabaptists. How many of you are old men here who read about the history of the Anabaptist martyrs? Did they die playing games? Or did they die because they followed Jesus Christ? What are these guys doing? Be teaching the origins of God. What is it for, sir? Uh, I have a YouTube channel, it's called What Is It About You? I just came here to find people that were interesting to talk to, and you guys clearly have something to say. Interested in what? That I'm interested in finding people that have something to say, people oh. that are interesting to talk well, to. Yeah, we yeah, we got something to say. Jesus Christ, but if you don't want the gospel, then we have nothing to say. We're here about, we're all about Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Yeah, here's what I would what tell you. Is? My brother gave you his gospel card, I have one too. We, we also have websites, we teach the same thing. Here's what I would tell you. We're here to preach the shed blood of Jesus Christ and his death, burial, and resurrection to call people out of the world to repentance and out of the church systems and to be born again by the Spirit of God and walk in holiness and obedience. And the Bible says you must endure to the end. The Anabaptists, the Catholics, the Evangelicals, the Mormons, Jehovah's Witness, we don't belong to any group. They all practice man-made traditions that Jesus said makes your worship in vain in Mark 7. That's what we're all about, the shed blood of Jesus. We travel the country, support ourselves, Preach the gospel. Don'tperish.com, followgospel.com is our websites. We both teach the same things. And we call people to salvation. That's what we'd want to share with you today. Why would you come, and this is, I'm not trying to be a snarky yeah, person. Yeah, you can ask Why would you come here to, to preach what you're preaching as opposed to going where maybe there's people that are more likely to be non-Christians. Here, I can answer that. I was just at the farmer's market downtown, full of worldly people that need it. My brother was just at the... I was at the Venice Farmers Venice Market. Farmers Market this morning. Not before, long before that, we were at a candlelight church service, and before that, we were at other worldly events. Go look at our websites; you'll see we go in the world, we go to church places. But see, here's the thing: Jesus and Paul went to the synagogues and called out the Pharisees. This is the Pharisees of today, and so it's loving to come and call the truth out because you understand something, sir. Half a truth is not the full truth of the gospel. Did you know that? So if they're not teaching you the truth, you're still lost, like the guy in the gutter. So, the, and last thing I would tell you about that is the fire of God is going to be hotter for the religious hypocrites than it is for the guy in the gutter. I can prove it. Go read the parable of the Pharisee and the publican. The Pharisee says, oh, I pay tithes and I do all of this good stuff. I thank God I'm not like that guy in the gutter. And the guy in the gutter beats his breast, the Bible says, and he says, God have mercy on me, I'm a sinner. And my master Jesus said, that man in the gutter will find justification before that religious hypocrite. So the fire for these Anabaptists, Catholics, Lutherans is gonna be very hot lest they repent. So uh, you, you think it actually makes sense to target other people that also believe in Christ, but believe Jesus said, not all who say, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but those that do the will of the Father in heaven. They have a people false savior. People who claim Jesus. The Bible says, he that says, I know him, and keeps not his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. Right. If they were biblical saints, they would be joining us in preaching the gospel. We're here because we love our neighbors, they're our neighbors, and we love them enough to share the gospel that they need. Just because they're Anabaptists, they're not biblical saints. Yeah. And so by the way, everybody needs the gospel. By the way, this is the fourth year I've been here peacefully. You see me a peaceful. Fourth year they've called the police on me. And the police always bless us and say, you're fine. These are supposed to be non-resistant people. They don't want any violence. Yet they call police with guns and billy clubs to come deal with peaceful street preachers. Forgive, they have wicked dead hearts. Forgive my ignorance. What is Anabaptist? Seriously, I have no idea. Anabaptists, here, I'll explain it to you real quickly. Thank you for the good question. Can, can I do it on audio so everybody can hear? So the man, the nice man asked, what is an Anabaptist? Anabaptist means rebaptized. So five, six hundred years ago, the Catholics and the Evangelicals ruled the known Christian world, and the Anabaptists came out, and they were more biblical than you guys are today by a mile. They went to the Catholics and the Evangelicals. They didn't play bocce ball and shuffleboard. They risked their lives to go and tell the Catholics and the Evangelicals, 
You can't be baptized as a baby. You must be baptized as an adult by the gospel. Repent. Come to faith in Christ. So Anabaptize. Anabaptist means they were preaching a rebaptism, like if you were uh, baptized as a baby in a Catholic faith. So that's what Anabaptist means. But the Anabaptists today are a far cry from the Anabaptists of old. Those men risk their lives. You guys risk a little blister from the shuffleboard court or from counting all the money you make in your businesses. But you're not about preaching the gospel. So we go. Maybe there's a sheep. There's young people listening. Their lives will be changed by the gospel for good or for bad. Test yourself to the holy word of God, neighbors. We love you enough to come and tell the truth. Do you do this every day, all day? Like, is this your main thing, or do you do something else? This is my ministry. I retired to do this. I fund myself. My brother labors and does ministry in another place for six months. Then he's off six months free, and he goes and he preaches as well. What do you do when you're off? Well, I'm retired. I worked in the business world and all that. My brother does all kinds of labor. You mean when we're not actively street preaching? Yeah. We labor in the word to yep. put out sound doctrines and teachings to help and edify the neighbors and the saints out there. Amen. So do you have do you have like a, a day job that's not this? I just told you what he does. I'm retired. I'm, maybe I missed it. I'm, sorry. I'm retired. Uh -huh. He works and labors for six months hard does ministry on the weekends, saves up his money, then goes and travels for six months, doesn't work, but works in the late ministry. What's your job when you work for six months? Well, I just work in construction, whatever the Lord has me do. Yeah. That's yeah. irrelevant, sir. We, live, we don't we do take money from money. anyone. We don't take money. The focus is the gospel. That's why Amen. we're here. We're here to preach Christ crucified the gospel. You need the gospel too. You yep. need to repent. You must Do you belong to again. a church system? I do not. Okay. You, you need to belong you to Christ. Yeah, don't follow denominations, yeah. follow Jesus Christ. Yeah. Test yourself to the biblical gospel, okay? Thanks for your time. Thanks for God be praised. And uh, I just can't say enough nice things about the Amish people and their reaction to him. Uh, that guy seemed to think that they were, they were going to rebel against him, they were going to be violent, call the police. Nobody did anything. People were uh, avoiding judging him and instead just just dealing with it. I think they definitely wished he would leave, but uh, they weren't mean to him in any way. Hey, what do you minute. think of these guys? You risked your lives on that I think they should tour. leave. Well, I think he has a point to a certain extent. You know. Yeah, he has a, I believe he has a point that it is not Anabaptist that is going to save our eyes. It's Jesus Christ. But for us to judge you or somebody else, for me, the Bible is clear that uh, it says that judge not, that you don't be judged. Because if you judge, you'll judge yourself to condemnation. And it seems God has already clearly told me that if we judge what he's doing now, I feel sorry for him. Because there's, God died, Jesus died for all of us. And for us to condemn another denomination is just not how I think is right because it says if we judge me, God is going to judge us by that same brother. measure it, it says that it so if I judge and condemn people I don't know I their life so but this I is like I feel I feel this is good it makes us think about life. Any of you folks. so I don't feel bad about it I, I don't think Jesus would be inside. condemning all these people to go to hell that that hurts me because I feel that there's people that have a relationship with God, and if we judge them, we're blaspheming the Holy Spirit. And, but I, I don't have a heart to talk to him because I, I'm not, you know, I don't want to cause trouble or. It doesn't seem like that would be productive. Right. Well, I think we should be here. Being, well, I seen you interview him, and that's okay. I think it's, I think he has his right. We have our rights. That's why we're in America. We have our right to do if that. You could hear the word of God, and then that would be up my father, guy that rid the motorcycle, did you see him? Mm -hmm. I guess he also has the right that to do that. Johnny it's not what I'd be doing, but uh, he has his right to do that. So. Well, he thinks we have too many rules that aren't biblical. Like the Amish way of Yes, life. yes. Are Amish or Mennonite? Both. Okay. Both. Well, you wish this guy would leave? Jesus paid off Satan. <laughs> It's, it's immaterial to me. See, if he would just preach Jesus and the gospel rather than condemn, 
he'd make more headways. Yeah. I don't know what his benefit is to condemn a group of people. But I, we need to love him as Jesus loved, even though he's opposing us. He's misevaluating the situation. Misevaluate, that is a very polite way to put it. Yes. But. I'm, I'm from the Anabaptist background. So you're, the, you're, you're part of what he's oh, preaching yeah. against. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm no longer a practicing Anabaptist. I go to a, a non-denominational church, but yes. Yeah. Somebody's having fun. The loud cars or the loud I don't know, I kind of like, I kind of like the loud car right now. <laughs> Usually they annoy me, but yeah, it's all good. <laughs> The Anabaptists were some of the first immigrants that came over and helped build this country. And so then the Amish, the Mennonite community has, is that's their heritage. And basically the Amish, the Mennonite community, they, they still have the same faith. They just keep the culture, you know, they, they want to dress and live their life the way they do. Sure. But it's a very, very peaceful people. Is there a big difference at all between Amish and Mennonite or a fundamental difference? Like um, what is, what is, what is their, the, their faith tenets are basically the same. They just practice things differently. Like a lot, most of the Amish people don't drive cars. They don't have cell phones and and the Mennonites have cars and they have, you know, more of the, but there's varying degrees of it. But the, the faith basis is pretty much the same. And they all come together here in Pinecraft to vacation, and it's a great community because it really doesn't matter what church you're from. Everybody just has, hangs out and has fun, and that's what's really irritating me today is because these people are disrupting this peaceful community and trying to in the name yeah, of Jesus. In the name of the Jesus, name. and that's the worst. That's the worst of the worst, in my opinion. Do you want to call him a nut job now? Um, that's my personal opinion. <laughs> I'm not judging, but in my opinion, they sound like a nut he's, job. He's pretty, being pretty judgmental. He's right being he's extremely guy. judgmental, yeah. being very obnoxious, and being really disrespectful. Being really disrespectful to a group of people. It's very, very disrespectful. Grace is to have it preached to you today. He's back. Oh yeah. Uh, this no, can't miss park. Him. Away, but no. This no, is a public back. park. It isn't owned by the Anabaptists or the Mennonites. Thank they you so much for talking to me. Like like my name's Joanne. Joanne, I'm yes. JR. JR. If you, if you go like on YouTube and look for what is it about Can I take a picture of your shirt yes. so I remember? Yeah, go for the back. If you're a Christian, you follow Christ's ways. Not Anabaptist ways. I'll find, I'll find you on YouTube. Yep, there's also a website, <laughs> W-I-I-A-Y. What okay. is it about okay. you.com. And that'll take you to the YouTube okay. and all that. And, and, and this is a very, very unique community. It's, it's, I mean, I do. I love it. This time of the year, it's, you know, I don't live that culture anymore. But I have family that does, and I have the highest respect for people. And seeing their complete non-resistance to this Group of people interrupting their day Friday, is tells me everything. Yeah. They're good people. It's like he's, I think he wants them to call the police. So that oh, he, he does. Right? They want someone to come and punch him in the face because they're walking around with their cell phones videotaping. They're hoping so someone comes up um, and is violent so that they're marked. No. Okay, oh, no. I told, because somebody asked me, and I'm like, oh, no, you're wearing the wrong clothes. You're not <laughs> with them. You need to wear linen and Jesus sandals. Right. Yeah. Thank you again for talking. You're welcome. So, there you go. What is it about you, Amish, Mennonites, Anabaptists? That's what I'm here to find out. And I think you put yourself on, uh, I think you did, I think you represented yourself well today. Thanks for watching. But Jesus don't hate, he loves all his rivals, forgave those who killed him on the day that he died. People who love, should always love people, people who care, put their souls on the Wasting there.
Thank you. 